what is up guys welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel jordan i know you're watching this video because you always get my updates uh <clears throat> tired um a little update on my four-wheeler here uh, i got it back in the garage after it's been at the ranch for about two or three months possibly more uh, as y'all can tell it looks like there's been some trimming going on i did trim a bunch trim the fenders here and i trim the fenders there make it look kind of factory i also trim the front bumper up as you can see underneath the bumper there and i have installed a foreman front bumper now this foreman front bumper was 150 dollars off of partzilla uh, i wanted something where i could when i'm in a mud hole or a bounty hole or something i could grab a hold of this and a lean over uh I had the mud strap at one point, uh, did not work. Everyone's like, I love them, I love them, I love them. You can do this, you can do that. You know, well, you know how much strain you're putting on that and that right there? And how much strain you're putting on the bottom bearing down there, the steering stem bearing? Have fun changing that bottom steering stem bearing when you uh, need to. Yeah, that's something a lot of people don't think about. Um, I have just coated it yes last night letting it sit uh my rear shock is replaced as of you know you can see that's about the only clean new looking thing on the bike uh waiting on my uh strap i my limiter strap so I don't break another one i got my rear brake semi working uh i think my brake pads are are done for uh trying to turn and stop these big tires these heavy tires that kind of put a strain on it and they're done uh I have not had, in the six months I've had these, I've had not had a trouble out of these wheel spacers, Super ATV. I cannot ever emphasize enough, do not buy cheap-ass wheel bearings and don't buy cheap-ass wheel spacers. Haven't given me any trouble. I did lock tight them onto my factory studs. I didn't lock tight my wheels onto them. I just impacted the tires on, but I did lock tight the wheel studs. Seen too many people run those cheap eBay $15 wheel spacers and they have trouble. One of them being one of my buddies. It's always breaking something. Uh, as you can see, my swing arm stretch right there. I uh, stretched it out. That was from Don Oglesby. Stretched out with two U bolts. One bolt going through the frame right there and the bolt holding it going through the frame up the top. Front, that stretched it back. Uh, came with the extended swing arm, this extended drive shaft. Two inch lift right here for the rear. Bada boom, bada bang. Easy to put on. The hardest part was actually getting the diff out so I could put this in and putting this back in because it didn't want to line up for some reason. Um, haven't really done too much. You can tell I do ride it. This does not just stay on a trailer like some people on Facebook tell me it does and some people on Instagram tell me it does. I have added the orange stars I have the original Black Star sitting in my box uh, for my buddy in case he breaks his. He's got the 18 inches ones for his Polaris. Uh, I did trim right there. And if you're wondering where my footrest is, boop, I don't have one. I cut it off right there. I cut it off. So I just trimmed that because I was hitting it. I do still rub. You can see where I rub at full lock right there. There is no getting rid of that unless you do the new floorboards. I am missing a bolt, which pisses me off. I got to go to the Honda dealership and buy that bolt. Or I just might do it before I go to my ride for Mud Jam. Uh, I'm going to ride this weekend. Uh, see how this front bumper does. See how this radiator bottle does. Uh plans i have coming up for it uh 15 rear reduction it does need more gear reduction turning these tires uh that was in a video i just posted it does need a little bit more gear reduction when i get in thick mud uh when i do uh, i don't know when i'm gonna do it but when i do decide to re-powder coat this uh this is just painted uh color match to my fenders here when i do decide to 
<sighs> Sorry, I was about to sneeze. Repowder coat this, or actually powder coat it. Uh, I'm going to go in here, and this is going to be gone. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to buy a new piece here, this whole front piece, to get rid of these two holes. And to get rid of that hole right there for my whips and my haze fab lights that I've got. <clears throat> you see it's chipping uh, just from the winch line when I have the winch line hooked up here so I can grab it and throw it to people. It's just chipping from power washing. You can see it has been in the mud. I do sling mud places. Mud's even up here. Um, so I'm going to test that out, see how that is. I'm going to put a fire extinguisher on here. Uh, whenever I redo the radiator and everything, this is getting changed because, and only because, I'm going to put a switch panel right here that's going to have three push buttons. Not two, three. Three push buttons. One for my rock lights that are going to be up in the grill. And my lights and my whips. Those are all going to be tied into one. <clears throat> one for my front light bar. And one for my rear light bar. Uh, I'm going to have all those put in, built, custom. It's going to have custom LED backlighting. It's going to be painted black. I want it to be about this size. Uh, so it'll be kind of there, and I'll have the push buttons either up top or up. I'd, we got to sit there and brainstorm. It's going to be made out of plexi. Uh, things I've done to it here lately. This U tracks, love it. Backrest, uh, it stays on there whenever I travel. Everyone tells me to put it down, but this has stayed on there. It's got a little uh, pocket in the back that uh, you can put stuff like. See, I've got koozies in here, uh, dim mud boys, uh, and some other ones in here. I don't even know which ones I got in here, to be honest with you. Let's see. Mudden for a cure, mudden for a cause, tools for a cause. I think that's all I have in here. I just have three. Uh, that's where I keep them. I usually carry about 20 or 30 in there because that's about how many I have. Uh, my snorkel, see it right there. It's hard pipe from the airbox back. Only way to do a snorkel. Hard pipe. Don't do a flex hose. The close, you can see how close that is to this. Now just imagine, I don't know if you can see it from in here, but we're gonna try. Right there, right there. Look at that, it almost touches the motor. Flex pipe will melt. Uh, of course I've done a Canyon air filter. Yeah, this one is hard piped from the airbox back up to a flexi joint here over 90 90 up 245s flexi pipe one two yep 245s all the way up to a 90 with t with this little 45 degree angle uh i like i said i'm five nine and that is about six foot that way, let me put this down real quick. Put the seat back on. Ooh. Right. Squeaky things. That way, when I sit down, that's at head level. Really, uh, not really, I can see over it. It's shoulder, shoulder, about shoulder, neck, neck level. Uh, so I know I can go over the handlebars to about chest deep and i don't have to worry about that which chest deep is right here right about here on me uh let's see i am up against the backrest right now so i mean i can stretch out and grab the handlebars i've done the rogue odi grips lock on love them i went with the deep lugged ones the 130s not the 120s uh, i've done the Beer holder. I'm sorry, adult beverage holder. Uh, um, I'm sure there's some stuff I'm forgetting. The gear reduction, the clutches. 
wheels, tires, lift. Oh, the front lift. The front lift is right there. Original shock bolt hole, new shock bolt hole. Just lifts it up, keeps the factory ax axle angles. See, my axle angles don't look bad, and these are a year old. Nothing, no bad, nothing. It's a wet bushing somewhere. My winch, love it, still works perfectly. Going on a year and a half, it is a champion. I gotta get zip ties and re-zip tie all that up this week. Uh, my front shocks are set at the highest setting. Thought about bumping them down just to see. I do have to do a, an alignment before this week. My front LED light bar is a night light. Uh, it's a full spotlight. I love it. Uh, if you ever need to buy a light bar off Amazon, night light is the way to go. Uh, my whips. Miller FX whips. They're true amber. I don't even know if they make them anymore. They might. Uh, I, no, I was the first one to get. I actually got the pre-production ones, the first ones that they made. Uh, my rear light bar is just a cheap spotlight. Uh, I think it was like five bucks off of Amazon. Uh, I got them bolted. So I got my whips bolted on with these 7 8 small I uh, can't even remember the brand connectors. Same thing with my rear light bar. Boom, boom, boom. What I do want to do is I do want to come over here and about right here, clamp on another one and put mini. These are two foot. I want to put one foot orange bars. I don't know, just to be an idiot. Uh, the winch controller is right there. It's a KFI winch controller with a KFI contactor right there up top. Bump. <clears throat> um, let's see, wheels, tires, lift, winch, front bumper, trim the fenders, cut the floorboard mounts, stretch, snorkel, radio to relocate, bottle, beer cooler, backrest, lights. I think that is it. Oh, uh, the air filters came in. That's too. I did have my ECU remapped. Uh, and all it did is delete the governor. <clears throat> I don't have a rev limiter anymore. And it set my fuel to air to fuel to 14 to 1 uh, and then at idle. And then it set it at half throttle to 14 to 1 and uh, full throttle 14 to 1. I did do, because I did not have the O2 delete, so it was always just in regular idle mode, like high idle mode. Whenever you turn it on, it would be cold. Now it stays in high idle mode because there is that. I don't know if you can see that little piece right there. You can kind of see the wires right in the middle of the screen right there. That is my O2 delete. I just have this run up here. Just for the time being, but that is about it, guys. Sorry, it's been a 13-minute video, but uh, my brakes do still work. Uh, just trying to stop these 70-pound tires, 140 pounds of tire in the rear has worn them out. So i got to fix that uh, before next ride, too, which I'm not looking forward to because I don't want to pull that hub off. But that is about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.